Kumusta? Ngayon ay may bago na naman tayong pag-aaralan at may bago na naman kayong matututunan dito sa Sir D Vlogs and Tutorials. Most of the time, the substances that we see around us are not in their pure form. They are basically a mixture of two or more substances. Interestingly, mixtures also come in different forms. Therefore, there are several types of separation techniques that are used in segregating a mixture of substances. As for the need for separation, it is usually done to remove all the unwanted materials and obtain useful components. These are the methods or techniques in separating mixtures, hand picking, winnowing, sieving, decanting, magnetic separation, evaporation, filtration, distillation, chromatography, and centrifugation. Let's have first the hand-picking method. This method involves simply picking out all the unwanted substances by hand and separating them from useful ones. The separated substances may be an impurity that has to be thrown away or maybe that both the separated substances are useful. Next is winnowing. When the grains are collected from the process of threshing, it needs to be cleared out of husks and shaft before it is turned into flour. Normally, the separation of the mixture is carried out with the help of the wind or blowing air. The husk and the shaft are blown away by the strong wind when the farmers drop the mixture from a certain height to the ground. The heavier grains are collected at one place. Then we have sieving. It is done to separate mixtures that contain substances mostly of different sizes. The mixture is passed through the pores of the sieve. All the smaller substances pass through easily while the bigger components of the mixture are retained. Decantation Decanting is also a chemical laboratory process used to separate mixtures. In its simplest form, it just means allowing a mixture of solid and liquid or two immiscible liquids to settle and separate by gravity. Magnetic separation Magnetic separation is the process of separating components of mixtures by using magnets to attract magnetic materials. The process that is used for magnetic separation detaches the non-magnetic material with those that are magnetic. Evaporation Evaporation is a technique used to separate out homogeneous mixtures where there is one or more dissolved solids. These methods drives off the liquid components from the solid components the process typically involves heating the mixture until no more liquid remains. Prior to using this method, the mixture should only contain one liquid component unless it is not important to isolate the liquid components. This is because all liquid components will evaporate over time. This method is suitable to separate a soluble solid from a liquid. Distillation Distillation is an effective method to separate mixtures comprised of two or more pure liquids. Distillation 
is a purification process where the components of a liquid mixture are vaporized and then condensed and isolated. In simple distillation, a mixture is heated and the most volatile component vaporizes at the lower temperature. The vapor passes through a cooled tube where it is condenses back into its liquid state. The condensate that is collected is called the distillate. Filtration Filtration is a separation method used to separate out pure substances in mixtures comprised of particles, some of which are large enough in size to be captured with a porous material. Particle size can vary considerably given the type of mixture. For instance, stream water is a mixture that contains naturally occurring biological organisms like bacteria, viruses, and protozoans. Some water filters can filter out bacteria, the length of which is on the order of 1 micron. Other mixtures like soil have relatively large particle sizes that can be filtered through something like a coffee filter. Chromatography Chromatography is the separation of a mixture by passing it in a solution or suspension or as a vapor through a medium in which the components move at different rates. Thin layer chromatography is a special type of chromatography used for separating and identifying mixtures that are or can be colored especially pigments. And centrifugation. It is a technique used for the separation of particles from a solution according to their size, shape, density, viscosity of the medium, and rotor speed. The particles are suspended in a liquid medium and placed in a centrifuge tube. The tube is then placed in a rotor and spun at a defined speed.